In this video, we'll discuss about eczema and children. While children who have eczema do suffer, parents need to be aware of the stress that this can cause for them. When a child suffers from eczema, the entire family is affected. In a study including 38 families, it was reported that when children suffered from moderate to severe eczema, family dynamics were severely impacted. These families reported a significantly lower quality of life than families who had children without eczema. They felt it also affected their relationship. For these parents, self-care and attention to their relationship is critical to their survival. It is also important for the children that the parents deal with the stress. Stressed-out parents are very likely to increase the stress level of children. The majority of children with eczema develop symptoms before they are one year old, some as early as a month. The first step is to have the child diagnosed by a dermatologist to determine the exact type of eczema the child has. With a small child suffering from itchiness and inflammation, everyone can be on edge. Sleeping through the night is difficult enough for infants. Add the itch factor, and the night can turn into a nightmare for both parents and child. By the time a child reaches the age of four or five years old, it becomes aware that he or she is different. The rash is very visible, and the child is aware when people comment on the child's condition. Parents need to reassure the child that this rash is not their fault, as it can severely affect his or her self-esteem. It is important that children learn not to scratch, which means parents need to remain ever vigilant. Applying a moisturizer at the first sign of itching can help the child cope. Older children should be taught to moisturize as soon as they are able to do so. With a doctor's approval, an antihistamine can help the child sleep through the night. A daily routine is important to help the child cope with the persistent itching. He or she should bathe daily in lukewarm water with a soap that is fragrance-free. Gently pat the child dry instead of rubbing the skin. The bath should be followed immediately with a moisturizing cream. Fortunately, most children do outgrow their childhood eczema when parents provide the proper treatment. All too often, however, treatments will improve the symptoms and parents become laxer in maintaining the same care. This then leads to a renewal of the itch cycle. Even if the symptoms slowly abate, the proper treatment needs to continue. To help your child overcome the symptoms of eczema, try to do the following. Keep baths as cool and lukewarm as possible, since hot water can have a drying effect on the skin. Always clean with non-allergenic soaps that do not contain perfumes or other additives. Make sure you towel dry very gently without harsh rubbing against the skin. Never bathe your child without moisturizing afterward. Petroleum jelly is especially effective. Remember to apply the moisturizer several times each day. Dress your child in cotton clothing or in special clothes designed for eczema sufferers. Snip your child's fingernails to prevent him or her from scratching and infecting the skin. Ensure that your child drinks enough water every day to keep moisturized. Help your child establish a skin care regime so that he or she can care for him or herself. Recognize that school and exams can present eczema triggers for your child and be proactive in helping your child cope. Researchers have been studying the connection between eczema and food allergies. At times, eczema symptoms can be heightened by certain foods. In other cases, the foods themselves can trigger eczema. In either case, there is a direct link between foods and allergies related to eczema. Eczema, hay fever, and asthma frequently occur at the same time and within the same families. Studies have determined that over 80% of eczema sufferers also have food allergies. 30% of children are found to have both eczema and food allergies. It is believed that food allergies weaken the immune system and skin barriers, thus creating an environment for eczema to thrive. Any food can cause an allergy, but there are certain foods most commonly associated with allergies and eczema symptoms. Eggs, dairy, sugar, wheat, nuts, especially peanuts, processed foods, white pasta and breads. Many doctors suggest doing an allergy patch test for children suffering from eczema. This can help eliminate certain food culprits. As a parent, you need to be careful of hidden ingredients, such as sugar and ketchup. Reading labels is a must because many foods contain hidden triggers. Discuss your child's diet with a certified nutritionist. Usually, fish and lots of fresh fruits and vegetables are highly recommended. Foods high in probiotics, such as kefir and sauerkraut, should also be consumed on a regular basis. For more free educational content, 
visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.